the kinematic wave celerity is a fundamental concept in engineering hydrology. The kinematic wave celerity is the slope of the discharge area rating. Therefore, a value of beta equal to 5 thirds is applicable to a hydraulically wide channel governed by Manning friction. The kinematic wave celerity is also known as the Kleist Seddon or Seddon Law. In the year 1900, Seddon published a paper on unsteady flow movement in rivers, including flood waves. Seddon's law is in which C is celerity of flood waves, Q is discharge, Y is stage, and T is channel top width. In open channel hydraulics, the change in flow area is equal to the product of top width times the change in stage. It follows that Seddon's law is a statement of the kinematic wave celerity. The kinematic wave celerity is a function of the slope of the discharge stage rating. This slope is likely to vary with stage. Therefore, the kinematic wave celerity is not a constant, varying with flow level. Therefore, in general, the kinematic wave equation is a nonlinear partial differential equation requiring an iterative solution. Theoretical values of beta other than 5 thirds can be obtained for other frictional formulations in cross-sectional shapes. For turbulent Manning flow in typical channels, beta has an upper value of 5 thirds. For laminar flow in hydraulically wide channels, beta is 3. For mixed laminar turbulent flow, beta ranges from 5 thirds to 3. For hydraulically wide channels with Chessy friction, beta is 3 halves. The kinematic wave celerity varies with friction and cross-sectional shape. To illustrate, we calculate here the value of beta for a triangular channel with Manning friction. The Manning equation is substituting into this equation the expression for hydraulic radius R equal A over P. Simplifying in which k sub 1 is a constant containing n and s sub f. We assume n and s sub f to be independent of either a or p. For a triangular channel, the top width is proportional to the flow depth. In which t is top width, d is flow depth, and k a proportionality constant. The flow area can be expressed in terms of flow depth as follows. Likewise, the weighted perimeter in terms of flow depth is Eliminating the flow depth D from these two equations leads to from which we obtain in which k sub 2 is a constant containing k. Substituting this equation into the discharge equation leads to in which k sub 3 is a constant containing k sub 1 and k sub 2. 
comparing this equation with the rating equation, we conclude that the value of beta for a triangular channel with Manning friction is 4 thirds. Practical applications of stream channel routing often require the specification of lateral inflows. These inflows could be either concentrated, as in the case of tributary flow at a point along the channel reach, or distributed along the channel, as with groundwater exfiltration or infiltration. A mass balance in the control volume leads to Note that this equation has the additional source term on the right hand side, that is, the lateral inflow per unit channel length Q sub L. Thus, the kinematic wave equation with lateral inflow is For positive lateral inflow, there is tributary inflow or base flow, that is, channel exfiltration. For negative lateral inflow, there are channel transmission losses, that is, channel infiltration. The kinematic wave celerity is a fundamental stream flow property. Flood waves which approximate kinematic waves travel with the kinematic wave celerity and are subject to very little or no attenuation. In practice, flood waves are kinematic if they are of long duration or travel on a channel of steep slope. Criteria for the applicability of kinematic waves have been developed. The stream channel criterion states that in order for a wave to be kinematic, it should satisfy the following inequality. in which T sub R is the time of rise of the inflow hydrograph, S sub O is the bottom slope, V sub O is the average velocity, D sub O is the average flow depth, and N is a dimensionless number. For 95% accuracy on one period of translation, a value of N equal 85 is recommended. In practice, a flood wave will be kinematic if either the time of rise or the bottom slope are large. Thus, the kinematic wave model applies to 1. Slow rising flood waves in large basins of mild relief for which the hydrograph time of rise is usually long and 2. Overland flow for which the bottom slope is typically steep. <laughs>